Keenan, the director of the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, and we're here to announce the arrest of Ryan Brunn for the murder of the seven-year-old Rivera child. Brunn is 20 years of age, and he resided at 12309 River Ridge Drive. He is employed as a maintenance worker at the apartment complex where the child resided. Brunn has been taken to the Cherokee County Detention Center. He had been arrested at approximately 12.40 p.m. today by the Cherokee County Sheriff's Department SWAT team, GBI agents, and Canton Police Department investigators. We have been actively and aggressively investigating the child murder, and we have, have utilized approximately 65 investigators working around the clock. We've executed multiple search warrants in this investigation, and we still have much work to do. We have had Brunn under surveillance since last night as we continue to develop evidence in this case. We reached a point this afternoon where we had sufficient evidence to obtain arrest warrants for the murder of the seven-year-old child. And he is, uh, Brunn is now in custody. We have had a task force working the murder and sexual assault of the seven-year-old child. And that task force has consisted of multiple agencies to include the Canton Police Department, the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office, the Blue Ridge Judicial District Attorney's Office, the FBI, the Georgia State Patrol, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, and several other state agencies. The Georgia Crime Laboratory, located at GBI headquarters, has been working around the clock processing evidence as the task force has collected it during the investigation. Brunn came to the attention of the task force based on information we received from the public. We followed up on that information, continued to focus on him, and built a criminal case that has led to his arrest today. I'd now like to call on Police Chief Jeff Lance of the Canton Police Department. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, mine's going to be brief. Uh, I think primarily um, the director has uh, spoken on everything that, uh, that we can, you know, that, as well as you know, that we can give out. Um, the biggest thing for us, or for me, we've had a lot of men and women working since uh, this incident has occurred around the clock. There's a lot of tired people right now. Uh, uh, eventually, hopefully, they'll be able to get some rest. But again, I, I, I want to say thanks to uh, my, my department itself, special thanks to the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office, the CART team, uh, the FBI, uh, volunteers who were out here. Uh, for many days searching and uh, taking their time, uh, we really appreciate uh, the help that we've uh, gotten on this case. And I think because of this, uh, we did what we were uh, set out to do. Our goal was to um, make an arrest for what has happened to this sweet, uh, innocent little girl. Um, again, uh, special thanks, and if I've missed anybody out there, I apologize. I my, myself have had a little sleep myself, but again, a special thanks to everyone. Director Keenan, what evidence do you have linking Braun to the murder of this little girl? Can you speak generally? I cannot, I will not speak at all to the evidence other than to say that we have sufficient evidence to obtain arrest warrants for the murder of the seven year old child. The state crime laboratory has much evidence that they are still processing and they are updating us routinely as that evidence is analyzed and the results come in. But this, this investigation will continue on for several months. This is a, uh, this is a mammoth case. Um, we believe that this horrendous crime was uh, planned and calculated and uh, we've recovered a lot of evidence that, that's going to require our processing. Can you provide more details as to whether or not this child was targeted? You did say this was a calculated crime. I don't, I do not know whether, I do not know whether the, 
to what extent the child was targeted. We know that the abduction took place in the immediate vicinity of the playground where the seven-year-old child was playing. The child was taken to a vacant apartment unit located in a building adjacent to where the child resided. We have evidence that the murder occurred in that vacant apartment. At some point, the child's body was then disposed of in the dumpster and compacted into trash where we later recovered that body on Monday afternoon. Do you have any reason to believe that he may have done this before? We are investigating all of the past history of Ryan Brunn and are piecing together what he has been doing for the last several years. We have sent agents to other states, to another state, and also to other counties, and we are going to backtrack all of his activities and make a determination if he has been involved in other crimes. He has no known criminal history to us, but we will find out what all he's been involved with. Did Ryan Brunn have any contact? Did he use the trash compactor to basically to compact the trash? Was he one of the ones that had the keys and access to the compactor? He had access to the trash compactor, he did. Did the suspect have any contact with his family? Did the suspect have any contact with the child or her family prior to this murder? The Brunn was well known in the apartment complex because he was employed there. To the extent that he is known to the family of the child, I do not know. Did he have any street apartments? I do not know that. How do you spell the suspect's name? B-R-U-N-N, and we will have arrest photos available for you. R-Y-A-N. And what specifically has he been charged with? He has been charged with the murder of the seven-year-old child. There will be additional charges that the district attorney's office will bring against him in the near future. They brought him into questioning and then searched a number of places, including his apartment, but he was let go briefly yesterday. Why is there? Explain how that works. Well, to obtain a warrant for a person's arrest requires a level of evidence. At the time, we have interviewed hundreds of people, including him, but as we collected information and processed evidence, it led to a sufficient amount of evidence where we obtained an arrest warrant and arrested him today. Did the GBI car team brought in on this investigation? At what point and when did you all arrive and start your investigation? The car team, which is Child Abduction Response Team, was activated on Sunday night and was deployed on 7 a.m. Monday morning at the request of the Canton Police Department. We then, that was 50-plus state personnel, and we worked with the Canton Police Department and the Sheriff's Department, FBI, and all the other agencies which have led us to this point where we have made an arrest. The investigation will continue because there's still much work to be done. We interviewed one of Ron's friends at the apartment complex. He insists that Ron has an alibi that he was at a Walmart at that time when the child was abducted. Do you have any response to that? We are confident that Ron is the killer, and that is why he is in custody. Has Ron been given a polygraph at any point so far in this investigation? I'm not going to discuss any interviews we've had with him or polygraph. One more question, please. Chief Lance, at this point, there have been questions asked, should you have brought in Cart earlier? Your Honor, well, right now at that point, I don't want to answer that, but anyone here in this room can second guess anything, any decision that was made, and we'll look at that. We had people on the ground by Sunday. We had a lot of people on the ground by Monday morning, so we'll leave it at that. Can I have a question for the District Attorney? Yes. One question, please. Yes. Was there any evidence that Ron had any contact with the Canton Police Department? Yes. Thank you. Thank you.
Are you going to seek the death penalty in this case? First of all, let me commend all the agencies involved in this case. I want to tell you as a prosecutor, I'm very impressed with the work that has been done. I want to thank each and every one of them for the opportunity to to work with them and continue to do so. This is the beginning of a very long process. As to your question, uh, that decision will have to be made uh, for the public information at the time of arraignment and not until then. I won't uh, discuss that until that point. When do you expect arraignment to be? After, after indictment. And no other suspects in this case you have your we're, com we're confident that, that uh, Brian is the killer. Um, we're going to continue investigation. If there happens to be anyone else who's going to be involved in this, they're going to be held accountable also. Thank you all very much. Uh, is he an immigrant? Is he an immigrant to this country, Ron? I'm not, I'm not aware of that.